July 19th, 1940. We continue our patrols in the Celtic Sea and continue to apply increasing pressure on the Allies. Not a day goes by where I don't receive a message from the wolf packs in the area that they have successfully knocked out multiple merchant ships. If we can continue to deal these kinds of blows to the Allies, I don't see how it will be possible for them to continue their offensive in the south. I am still awaiting confirmation as to whether or not my crew and I will be transferred to the new port closer to where the action is. In the meantime, I will continue to hunt down allied shipping and add to our total tonnage, as there has been little resistance from the allies in stopping the wolf packs. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Chris Jester, and welcome back to another episode of U-Boat, and what a beautiful day it is out here today, out in the Celtic Sea. So really quick, let's go ahead and see if there is anything on the radio, nothing currently, and we still have roughly just over half way completed uh, the Celtic Sea of traveling the 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area. So we'll try and get that done and uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the situation on the boat as it pertains to torpedoes. We're not looking too bad, we still have eight left ready to rock and roll. So really quick, let's go ahead and start heading north if we can. Let's drop down to periscope depth and get our radio man on the listening room. And also give you a helper, increase that range. Let's go ahead and drop down speed as well if we can. And see if anything's around. So nothing as it stands right now, which is okay by me. Let's go ahead and get that helper out of here, please. Give you back. We'll get you on navigation, sir, and we'll get you a helper. And you can go back to the radio room. We will surface the ship, which we want to watch out for because it is 1757. It's actually going to be nighttime soon. But let's go to our old stomping grounds right here in AM89 and see if we can't get lucky with trying to find something. Well, things might be put on hold here as we are already about to be uh, presented with our first problem. An aircraft is nearby. Go ahead and see. There it is. And it is coming right for us. Steady. And unload. Beautiful. Ooh, good thing we didn't have to deal with that for long. We will try and cut right if we can. Let's go ahead and get this sent off. Let's go ahead and increase speed as well if we can. Second aircraft incoming. Aircraft's coming from right around our 7 o'clock here. There it is right there. Diving down to level and approaching very quickly. Steady, 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 steady. That was pretty good right there. Hard left, hard left. Nice tries. Has the third one entered the game? There's the first one. I feel like this is new. We need to dive and get out of here. They have us locked in completely. Alright, here we go. Round three and then we are diving. That's going to be a good one. He has to go down. Oh my goodness. And we have a leak on board and a sailor in critical state. Come on. These bloody aircraft. Leak on board. Let's go ahead and deal with that, please. Get the pumps going. Go ahead and get to the power distribution board, please, Mr. Hoffman. Are we being treated? Yes, Schuster is assisting. Come on, guys. Get these guys in there. Help them out. Great bloody work, Schuster. Great bloody work. Everybody else is buggering off. How's everything else looking right now? Pumps are on. Water's out. Command station, we need our power back on. Definitely. Power distribution board, go ahead and take care of that. Mr. Veba. Everyone's back to their stations. That was too close for comfort. 
Holy shit. Go ahead and surface the boat, please. Low air reserves. Go ahead and get diesel compressors on. Get these messages off. Should be nighttime, roughly, almost. Nope. Okay, though, we were still able to get to the area of where we want to. Okay. Hopefully we're done with these aircraft. Let's go ahead and dive down periscope and get a new reading. And hopefully we're going to be having some targets in sight here soon. And here we go. It didn't take long to finally uh, discover what was going on here. Definitely have a plethora of destroyers. And I think they might be stationary? Oh, they're moving. Okay. Just had to confirm that. I know we have the orders to uh, go ahead and attack these if we can, but... Oh my gosh, what are you doing? We have a fellow... The Mariner in the area. You fool. That is way too many to try and tackle. Okay, let's go try and help him. He's riding right alongside of me. You are playing with death here, buddy. Oh my gosh, and he's been caught. He's been picked up. Why would you go so close? God bless it. There's nothing we can do here. We're going to use, unfortunately, use him as a decoy to try and get away. Hopefully he's, he didn't, oh my gosh, the U-320 sunk. Oh my goodness, you fool. Why would you go after seven destroyers? I know we have the orders to actually go after warships, but only if possible, if we can absolutely make it. Alright, we have happened upon this cargo ship. Let's go ahead and try and get into a relatively good position here. Square off on it. And close the distance. We are roughly a kilometer out. Let's go ahead and stop. Get our sights going here and see what we're dealing with. Ah, I can't believe that guy would just... be so... irresponsible to do that. Hmm. I don't know. This might be one of those decoy ships. Let's go ahead and raise the boat if we can. Forward three. And let's try and get an order to board this ship if we can. Alright, we're pretty close to the boozy two here, Freighter. Let's go ahead and click to interact. Alright, here we go. So this freighter is unarmed, seems to not be escorted, and flies a neutral flag. The prize rules allow us to sink such ships, only we are certain that they are headed towards the enemy port. If we lack such certainty, ideally we should investigate what it's carrying and verify its destination by performing an inspection. If we would, however, have reasons to feel certain that this ship is headed to an enemy port, we may communicate right away that we intend to sink it and proceed with the attack. Well, we're going to go ahead and send delegation to the freighter. What do you need, officer? All right, well, already he has a British accent, which makes no sense. I sense that we're going to be sinking this ship. Captain leads you into his office and makes a jest to make yourself comfortable. He then looks around at his desk to find some papers that seem to be the shipping documents. He asks if you'd like to take a look. Yes. He asks the captain for the documents and states what the cargo is loaded on this ship and where they are heading. He was ready for that since these are the documents already prepared in his hands. All right, so basically he hands us the documents, but he was already prepared for this and he hands us to it right away. He's looking a bit nervous when you carefully analyze the documents. You can't decipher much from the documents, though since you are written in English, you only managed to spot some references about a port of Vigo. All right, so it sounds like this ship is going to a port of Vigo. So it's not gonna be a problematic ship. And if we push it, we might uh, lead to diplomatic incidents. Put the pressure and the state of the documents seem to be false. Oh, we need linguists though. There's the cargo hold. Captain confirms that you can have a look if that's needed. He invites you to follow him in the short walk. You are in the ship's cargo hold. Your crew is searching the cargo hold for potential contraband. All right, an officer from our group looked around the freighter accompanied by a talkative sailor who speaks some German. He shared his view on the war and told about his uncle that married a woman from Hamburg. All right, cool. Regarding the search, nothing suspicious was found. All right. Transported goods are going to be iron ore and lumber. So nothing crazy. We shall return. You have a pleasant day, sir. And you get the hell out of here. Boozy too. Very well.
Cool. All right, moving on. Let's go find someone that actually matters. Okay, so here's what I want to check out. We have the small group 49. That, I know for a fact, was the group of destroyers. But now we have a small group 5 to 10 in the same vicinity. And if it's a small group 5 to 10, that leads me to believe that it does also possibly a set of destroyers. But I'm kind of curious and I want to just double check and make sure. Because if it happens to be a small group but it's merchant ships, that'll be very beneficial to us. All right, we are getting close to this small group of five to ten, and it looks like it's going to actually be merchant ships, which is bloody perfect. That is exactly what we needed right now. Damage. Damage from what? Oh my goodness, well, weak point in the hole. Go ahead and repair all of that, please. As we don't have much time to be dicking around here. So let's go ahead and get a reading. Okay, so we're pretty far out still. We want to try and push this a little further. We're running out of battery, but it looks like these are guys that are just strictly on their own, unaccompanied, which is perfect. All right, at most right now, we're looking at about three kilometers out. Okay, let's go ahead and stop the boat and let's see what we're hanging out. Pretty choppy seas out as well, which is not going to help us. But here they come, and are they flying the British flag? They sure are. This is perfect. So we can try and get these two right off the bat, and then focus down the rest with our deck gun if possible. Kinda like that idea. Let's go ahead and start getting these guys figured out. Alright, the first closest one. What I need, really, is a velocity. So it's looking like an Empire Tower. But let's get a velocity of here. I'm thinking it's probably going to be around the same 7, which is the standard, right? But let's just confirm. And we will stop, set, 7 knots. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. Now we're looking for an angle here. Right around 92. Perfect. Force of 91.5 works for me. And a distance to target as it stands right now. Well, when it actually gets here, it'll be 2.1 kilometers. Go ahead and type that in. 2100 kilometers, or 2100 meters to get to 2.1 kilometers. Perfect. I feel like we're just going to wait for these this one to get about halfway, and we'll confirm it. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of time compression to make that happen a little faster. There we go. Perfect. And then we'll get one off on this target. So, distance to target from target number two. We are looking at 1.8 kilometers. Again, right around a 92. And load to oh, one, Heinz. please. Be get a 2.5 meter. Get a 2.5 meter depth here. Oh, Heinz, be Fire. Three no. away. Go ahead and unlock. Go ahead and get a distance here, 2.1 kilometers still, 2.1, perfect. Go two, two. Make sure course is good. Come on, and fire. Perfect. Torpedoes away. Wait for the fireworks here, and then we will surface the ship and start laying out as much destruction as we can with our... Uh... Go ahead and get make sure we're doing this. Just shot as much damage as we can with our cannon. And of course, the first torpedo was a dud. Let's go ahead and see if we get the second torpedo as a strike. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and surface the ship if we can. Go forward three. And let's get ready to get this cannon going. What do we have for deck gun ammo? We only have 16 shots left. You know what? Go ahead and lock onto this one. Get a course. 90. We'll say the velocity is increased probably to 9 knots. Distance of 1,000 meters. Let's go ahead and load a tube and send it, shall we? Well, he is doing evasive maneuvers, actually. So let's go ahead and do 6 knots. Distance of 1 kilometer. 
And uh, let's go ahead and fire. Close. Perfect. How's the other freighter looking? Oh, it is looking terrible. Looks like it's taking on quite a bit of water. And uh, steadily losing health as well, it seems. That is going to be a kill, I believe. This is our next target, though. Let's go ahead and keep a lock on that. And how's that torpedo looking? Well, that torpedo is looking beautiful. Come on, don't be a dud. Don't be a dud. Don't screw us over. Nice. Perfect. Gunner punch. Exactly what we need. Alright, let's pick this up. Next target. Probably gonna be this guy right here. Forward three, please. Let's get a little closer and start working our magic. And there's this one. Going down. Perfect. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and get a radio man on board here. Increase speed a little bit here. Go ahead and get a lock onto this guy. Get a velocity of... This one now is booking it. Nine knots, of course. Let's say you're going... Roughly 90 degrees when you actually finish that turn. And a distance of right around 800 meters. Get that aft oh, okay. torpedo loaded. Fire. Come on, show me love, show me love. There we go, perfect. Strong hit, serious damage. Go ahead and pick up the speed, go right alongside some of these and see if we can uh, help it out. As it stands right now though, Empire Storm is also going down. And there we go, confirmed sinking. Another Empire Storm under our belt, let's go. Hopefully we're using our diesel engine so we can recharge the uh, electric motor here. But let's just focus down one right now as it stands. Get you reeled it up with the rest of these AP rounds. And hopefully uh, nine will be enough to get him down. Not if you're hitting water though, Jester. Come on. Couple more rounds here. Right at the water line. Let's see how this is doing. Beautiful. Turn this bad boy around. Definitely didn't like all that. Alright, well it looks like we did a good enough job trying to get this sunk. No, it isn't. Damn. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to circle around and finish off this uh, amethyst in order to actually get it. Forward three, please. It's a shame we're going to have to waste a torpedo on this, but that is how it is. All right, well, everything's set up. Let's go ahead and load torpedo, please. Increase speed, 44 knots. Let's finish off this one last ship. And I think I got a message that there was smoke over the horizon. Let's go ahead and ascend this, please. Should be heading dead to target. It sure is. Funnel spoke spotted, yes. And there it is. Is this another poor cargo ship that is entering the field of death right now? I think it is. 30 seconds. 20 seconds. 10 seconds bis Einschlag. And there we go. That should be final. Center punched. Serious damage, and there it goes. Perfect. All right, well, these two are gone, and we don't have a deck gun. Let's go ahead and... There's another value. Go forward three. And get ready for this. Oh my goodness, this is a freighter? The Olwyn. It's a tanker. Yes! That is going to be an old class tanker. Perfect, and we're going to have to course, go back to deck wash Get this thing up a little further so we can actually see what we're dealing with. Look at it. Go ahead and get a velocity, shall we? I don't foresee this thing going faster than six knots. Calling it right now, six knots. And stop set, eight knots. You gotta be kidding me, really? I'm shocked. Honestly, the only thing we need right now is to load a tube. 2.5 meter depth is good enough for me. We'll just get a fast torpedo since we're so close. 
And fire. Ghost! Beautiful. Hopefully that was some serious damage right there. It looks like it took it like a champ, honestly. Oh, oh two, two. Fire. There we go. Ah, yes. That's what you want to see when you strike a tanker. I'm surprised it took the first one so well. Alright, well, how's it look? It's going down completely. Let's go ahead and surface the ship, please. Forward three towards this uh, wreck. And Radio Man is sleeping. That's okay. That's why we have a second Radio Man here. Incoming from the Eclipse. Well, this was disgusting. Nothing around in our sight. The three remaining that we weren't able to take out because we ran out of deck gun ammo off in the horizon over here. But some very good kills in this short amount of time. So three as of recent. I think we got a total of four, right? Yeah, we did. Definitely got a total of four. That should put us in a pretty good value, especially for our uh, happy times. Yeah, 46,498. Of the 50,000 that is required for the first section. Oh my goodness. Well, how many torpedoes do we have left? Three? Two. So we gotta go find one more target in order to complete that happy times. Go ahead and get our pump going too. Get the pump going and we'll find one last one. That's not gonna be too hard. We'll probably be in pursuit of these guys, honestly. Why not? I mean, they're right there for the taking. And here we go, they are sailing side by side in hopes of trying to get away. It won't do them any good. Oh, hello, we have a British ship, though. Right in front, that's just appeared. We can go ahead and let these two go, I think, and we're going to go after the British one. And evasive maneuvers have begun on all parties involved. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, this is exactly what we want to see. Velocity nine knots, because you're going super fast, I can tell. Set distance of 1,000 meters, please, for one kilometer, low tube three. And your course is ever so slightly at like a 53 degree angle. Let's go ahead and, you know, we'll set it at eight knots just in case. And fire. Nose! Hopefully that 53 degrees is good enough. I think it should be, Mr. Empire Knight. There we go. Right in the name. Serious damage on board and losing HP rapidly. Perfect. Perfect. Sunk. Let's go ahead and get another value off. That's 2400. What does that put us at for? Happy times. Oh my gosh. We have successfully completed the first portion of happy times. 5830. Beautiful. We just need to complete the inside here portion of our uh, mission. Traveling the 2500 kilometers. Let's go ahead and do that. Forward five, please. And let's get the hell out of Dodge before we start getting spotted by God knows what out here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is July 22nd at 049 hours, and we have officially completed our mission of traveling the rest of the distance required in the targeted location in the Celtic Sea, and we are going to go ahead and complete this mission and get back to port. Let's go ahead four days later, which will put us at July 26th, Port of Wilhelmshaven, July 25th. All right, well, we'll put tw July 25th as well. Clearly we haven't got our orders to move to a new port, which is a shame. I am going to fight for that because being way out here makes no sense when we have full control of France. We need to get closer to the action. Karl Heinz Schuster receives a new decoration, the Iron Cross second class, and so he should because he saved the two sailors 
that were critically injured. Called Hein Schuster is on 13 of 20 to the first class. And for Mr. Christoph Schmidt, Knights Cross with Oak Leaves, Cross Swords, and Diamonds. Just over halfway getting there. My goodness. And there we go. The happy time. First portion completed. Congratulations, Skipper. Your operation during the period known as the happy time was successful. With access to French ports, the capabilities of our U-boat forces have increased, and you were able to take advantage of this to launch successful attacks on enemy vessels. Your skills as a U-boat captain have helped further the cause of the Kriegsmarine, and the High Command is pleased with your achievements. Keep up the good work. You know, it's not me. It's my crew. It is definitely my crew that helped me out here. First things first, we're going to get a little break for the crew here. We're not going to do anything crazy. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we could do the Alps, the Bavarian Village. You know what? Actually, let's go ahead and do the Bavarian Village. I think that'll be good for them. Oh my goodness, Port of Wilhelmshaven. The next goal is to try and seriously get the port changed because I want to get out of Wilhelmshaven and I want to move over here to join the French Fotillas. Oh, hello. After a successful campaign against the Allied forces in May, June 1940, the German army took over the ports. Yes, yes, these bases gave the Kriegsmarine a significant advantage in their war in the Atlantic. Reach one of the ports to support your allies in even more effective operation. Okay, perfect. So there we go. Our orders have come through and we just need to go join the French flotillas. So that is going to be in the next episode, 100%. We will head over here, join this area, and that'll put us right on the western coast of France, which is really going to help us. Gonna help us a lot actually can't wait for that our snorkels and everything are done in nine days as well so ammunition production as well as our snorkels are going to be done in nine days which will be better soon because we're off for 20 days so they will be ready and equipped by the time we get back which will be nice i think that's going to do it for this episode though ladies and gentlemen if you guys have enjoyed this episode please comment down below let me know what you guys thought likewise if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up it helps me out and helps the channel out drastically in getting this video out so many more can see it also if you guys have enjoyed what you have seen please consider hitting that subscribe button i'm trying to get more videos out here to you guys very soon especially with some new games there are uh, games coming out very soon that i'd like to uh, try and play and you know switch it up from u-boat and more on the sea i know those are those, the, the primary videos i get out but i'd like to get a more uh, more of a variety out to you guys so if you want to see all that please consider subscribing Anyways, I'm going to get back at it, start making the next U-Boat video, maybe even more on the sea video, and until the next video, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?